guys, I'm Nick. And I'm AJ. And this is the Learn to Sail video lectures. Today is uh, lesson number one, rigging. Ooh, magical title appears. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you guys how to correctly rig a uh, Willowbank Yacht Club 420, Club 420, uh, because rigging a boat correctly is how you sail right and how you win races. So we're going to show you guys how to do it so that when you guys come down here, you guys know how to rig it. So we're going to start. So we're going to come back here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sail. Now when you go down you should get your sail, it should be in a bag. You should always make sure that you have the correct sail uh, for the boat you're using. Everything is properly labeled so you should never not have the correctly labeled uh, equipment. So we're going to start. together out of this bag. Now we're going to start to feed it. So you insert the slug and the foot and sail into the track. And now Nick's going to continue pulling and now I'm going to continue taking the sail bag off. This way the sail never touches the ground and you can always make sure that nothing ever gets angled, clustered, or if there's ever a problem. Make sure to tie up your sail bag to one of the rails over there where all the 420s are. It's very important so they don't fly away. Alright, so now that our sail is loaded, now we want to attach it to the mast and attach our at home. So, what we're going to do is on this side of the mast, we have a cleat down here, and what we're going to do is we're going to undo it to bring down the boom. And then we're going to go back here. Not letting go of that line, we're going to grab the alcohol. And there should be a knot here, there should be a square knot. So you untie that, and you grab this end. And then what you're going to do, you're going to find the head of the main in the boat by unrolling it. And always make sure you unroll it in the boat. So now what we're going to do, it's called a one design knot, super official, so you're going to run it through there once, going to run it back through, going to get a lot, you're going to tie an eight knot, and then with that eight knot, you're going to run it back through this loop. So now there's the least amount of line on top of your sail so you can pull your sail up all the way. Always make sure you insert it in the slot in the mast and you pull it up and someone feeds it so that it doesn't get caught. Once it's up about yay tall, then we tie it off, secure it, and we move on. Next, we're going to grab the jib out of the sail. We're going to attach the head of the jib to the shackle. Right here on the mast. And you have to touch the bottom corner for this tin. So that's all set. Now Nick's gonna pull up the cell. Now if you come over here you can see that the jib halyard you know, runs on a pulley system. So what you do is once you pull most of it up, like this, and you have to wire, you'll see this wheel and this line. What you do in the bottom of the boat, the line runs all the way down here, and it runs through a block at the bottom of the mast. You pull it up, you put it through this block. Now you can pull it down. So you take all the slack out, and you start pulling it down, 
And now you have a purchase. You'll see the mass just moved all the way forward. It moves the whole rig forward. And you put a lot of tension on the jib. Now what AJ is doing, AJ is putting tension on the forestay to bring the rig forward more so I can maximize the tension on the rig. So with the pulling forward, pulling down on this, are you able to tighten the jib? You put tension on the rig. And you secure it with the cleat hitch down below. Now that the jib is up, now what we want to do is now we want to secure the jib sheets. So, making sure one on, there's one on port and one on starboard, you run it inbound of the shrouds through this block through here. Then once you have a foot of slack, tie an eight knot. Oh, you can see the eight knot. Yep, hold well, on, I just want to, there we go. Just twist it around and you got your eight knot. Okay, now we're gonna go back around and we're gonna secure the outhole. So the, the outhole is this blue line at the very back of the boom. Go through the sail first. Then through this block. Gonna bring it up to this block. Through here. Tight eight knot. Now when you pull down, it brings the sail back. So now that everything is rigged. Now, we can finish bringing the main up. So, normally you don't want to bring the main up on land, but because it's not uh, a very breezy day, uh, we're going to do it and also I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, we uncleat our tunic down here. And to make, while someone makes sure they feed it, we raise it the rest of the way. By hauling down on the halyard. Making sure you uncleat the main sheet so it can go all the way up and making sure your boom thing is also loose so it goes all the way up. Now it's up all the way, when you bring it up all the way you'll find a ring on the halyard. What you want to do is you want to feed a loop through the halyard, just like that. And you want to bring the loop down to the bottom horn of the cleat hit, to the cleat, just like that. This way you can pull in the loose end and it acts like a, as a purchase, just like on the jib halyard. So you can finish raising the main as high as it can go. When that's done, you do another cleat hitch, tie it off, and you're all set. All right, once that's done, fix your out haul a little more just to tighten it. And everything's tight like a drop in Some of our boats don't have cutting hands, but this one does. The cutting hand is to find the rope, the line, on the port side of the boat. You want to feed the line up through this on the sail, feed it back down through this cleat. Put tension on it, and it stretches out the sail. Now once you're in the water, the first thing you do after you launch the boat is you put down the centerboard. Now we can't do it here because we're on land, but just so you know, there are two lines that run through the centerboard trunk. One line back here, and one line on the other side. Now, both those lines hook up to the handle. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to undo this line and take all the slack out. What that will do is that will allow you to lower the centerboard. Since we can't do that now, let's find that out uh, later. Back here is our rudder. Now the rudder can be tricky because there are two places to line up the pins. You come back here on the transom. You see that there are two pins, one here, one here. This pin has a type of lock on it. 
So what you want to do is make sure you line up the pins. Once you're lined up, you insert the rudder into the pintles. Now you'll see that this piece blocks the rudder from, uh, from coming out. So once you're in the water, you lower your rudder, and you take the slack out of this line and secure it. Right. That is how you rig your boat, and next we are going to show you how to de-rig it and properly put your equipment away.